Hello once again, grade 7 boys and girls from Rainbow International School. Welcome back to another virtual learning presentation of David Copperfield, authored by Charles Dickens. Today, we shall be discussing Chapter 8. It's about David's new life. The settings are in London and in Canterbury. We have no characters, new characters in this chapter, <clears throat> except for those minor ones like the servants in the house of uh, Mr. Spenlow, uh, the minimal participation of the aunts of Dora after his, uh, her father passed away, and Apart from those, there's there are no major additional major characters. Okay, so let's try to go through this activity before reading chapter eight. I know it was assigned to you, but let us try to have a check. Now you'll find this activity on page ninety-four in your storybook. Can you guess what will happen next? Of course, we already have read this chapter so we already somehow know how to answer it know what the answers are to these questions so it says circle Y for yes or N for no for each sentence the first one is David will earn enough money to marry Dora our guess was yes and it happened in the story and we have Dora will refuse to marry David now that he is poor. We found out that the answer is no because she also loved David. Only she's too young to accept things in haste, you know, the practical things in life. Mr. Spenlow will refuse to allow Dora to marry David. Uh, Mr. Our guess is no, and according to the chapter, Mr. Spenlow just said they're still too young to talk about love. David will fall in love with someone else, and definitely the answer was no because he is uh, deeply in love with Dora. Now let's try to go to the summary so that we will be able to recall what this chapter is all about. What happened in chapter 8? David took Agnes' advice. He worked for Dr. Strong for two hours in the early morning and walked to Mr. Spenlow's office till the parting of the day and go back to his flat to find his uh, Aunt Betsy, Peggotty, and Mr. Dick waiting for him. He was happy helping his aunt and saving an amount of money to marry Dora. And when he met Tommy Traddles again, he was visited by Tommy. He learned that the Micawbers moved to Canterbury only to work for Uriah Heep because Uriah Heep paid all his debts in London. Peggotty left for Yarmouth to look after Ham because as we all know, Daniel uh, was not there till he was uh, moving around in search of Emily. Okay, at work, David was told to see Mr. Spenlow in his office, surprisingly with Miss Murdstone and his letters to Dora. But after this uh, talk in the office of Mr. Spenlow, that night when uh, Dora's father was, uh, uh, after Dora's father had dinner in town. On his way back home, he was found dead on the road. Dora was sent to her two aunt's place, and it was uh, it seemed difficult for David to see her. So Aunt Betsy was worried about David, about his health. So he she sent him to Canterbury, where he found Micawber indeed working with Uriah Hip. David saw how Mrs. Heap, Uriah's mother, kept an eye on him and Agnes, of course, upon orders of Uriah, because at first um, Uriah 
started to have this feeling that he should be jealous with uh, David. But David, as we all read in the chapter, David told Uriah that he is in love with someone else. And Agnes is like her sister. And he also saw how Uriah tempted Mr. Wickfield to drinking. The more Mr. Wickfield gets drunk, the more David saw his oily smile. So Uriah had told him of his love for his daughter Agnes, which made Mr. Wickfield s made him start screaming and he has grown very mad. He didn't like the idea of uh, Uriah marrying Agnes. Um, in the end of the chapter, we found that uh, David, we've read that David made Agnes promise not to marry Uriah. Okay, so let's see. There's this activity on page 95 uh, about what we've read about the chapter 8. Okay, so we have there the direction. Are these sentences true or false? We write the full sentences with the correct information. Let, let's see. So we have the guide answers here and let's discuss. Number one, Mr. Micawber had a new job as assistant to Uriah here. It's true. He was seen by uh, David sitting on Uriah's uh, desk when he was sent, when David was sent by his aunt to Canter Canterbury. Okay, second is Dora accepted the fact that David was now poor. It's not true. Dora could not accept the fact that David was not poor. She's concerned and she even told him not to wake up at 5 in the morning just to start his day working. The third question is Miss Murdstone found David's letter to Dora but said nothing. False. The reason why he was in Mr. Spenlow's office was because Miss Murdstone uh, found David's letters to Dora and told Mr. Spenlow about them. The fourth question is David felt partly to blame for Mr. Spenlow's sudden death. Yeah, it's true. He, he felt that way. The fifth question is Uriah Hip had told his mother to watch David and Agnes. It's true. And David noticed that. Mr. Wickfield refused to let her, his daughter, marry Uriah Hip. It's true also, and he's gone mad. He was very mad when Uriah made mention of this in the middle of their drinking spree. Seven question, Dora felt sure she was the perfect wife, wife for David. It's not true. Dora knew she was not the perfect wife for David. Eighth question, David was able to share his problems and worries with Dora. It's not true because David was unable to share his problems and worries with Dora because, you know, Dora was young and she kept on reacting. It's, it's time David uh, presents to he, her a reality, a situation that she has to prepare herself with. Last question is Daniel Pegotty finally managed to find Emily in Italy falls because Daniel Pegotty finally managed to find Emily in London. Alright, so let's try to answer this uh, um, comprehension question. I shall be dictating uh, the comprehension questions to you and which I hope you'll be able to write uh, the question well with correctly considering the spelling, the punctuation mark, and everything, okay? So, um, let's see. What happened to Mr. Spenlow? That's the first question. Okay, and we have another question like... Uh, Uh, giving you a quotation 
a quotation and try try to explain this quotation who said it to whom was it said and explain what the conversation was about okay so uh, this this uh, sentence was quoted by I have already made the decision I do not feel it is fair to my fiance Sophie okay so let's see I will repeat I have already made that decision I do not feel it is fair to my fiance Sophie that's the second question okay the first question allow me to repeat so you may um, you may uh, get a hold of the words properly correctly what happened to Mr. Spenlow so those are the two questions which you have to answer in your copybook send a screenshot of your answer to me either in whatsapp or whatsapp or discord direct message okay for your practice quiz this is a new link uh, i hope you enjoy answering uh, the questions and it's a practice quiz flashcards there are questions and the answers will come before you uh, as you flip each card but just like what we've agreed before flip the cards only when you have figured out what your answer is to each question okay for checking purposes okay so once again thank you for being with me and be safe be healthy happy virtual learning okay bye for now